Now, we knew our first guest had a fair set of lungs on her when she stormed the charts in the 90s as one half of Shakespeare's sister. Fast forward to the present day and she's taking that unique voice to levels even she didn't realise she could reach on ITV One's Pop Star to Opera Star. Now all. that was beautiful, Gorgeous. absolutely beautiful. And you had nowhere to hide on that because it was no. just you and the harpist. Right. Were you nervous at all? Very. I felt really exposed. And right after we did our dress rehearsal, I said to Rolando, I'm really afraid of this song because everyone has this huge production going on. It's just me and the, although the harp is beautiful and one of my favorite instruments. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God. But sometimes if you pair something back and move away from all the extravaganza, that's what creates the beauty. And it, it, I True. mean, you can see there that it obviously worked. Mm. Yeah, but obviously the people didn't think so, did they? They put well, me in the bottom did. two. Yes, but you still, when it came down to the public vote, that's you true. Still yes. That's true. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I was so, oh, that it's was such a tense moment. It's semi-finals tonight, isn't it? So that's right. how are you feeling? I'm feeling yeah. really good. I have oh. a really fun song this week. It's really lively and, you know, a lot of fun. It's mm. cheerful and lighthearted. Do, do you think if you do win, that um, obviously your singing career has been in pop, do you think that you'll carry on singing the odd aria just to, uh, to keep mm. your hand in, or will you just go back to the way you used to or sing? Or just in the bath, maybe. In maybe bath. in the shower, yeah. In the shower, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't know, a few people have approached me and said, would you like to do like a oh. classical slash opera record? You've got a great classical voice, I think. You've got, you're a Thank natural you. soprano anyway, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it would be fun. I think it would be fun to do that, you know? Mm, yeah. And then I can put a pop record out after that. I mean, I, I think you're absolutely fabulous. Obviously, I think my sister's better. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you better say that. It's your sister, right? Yeah, she's my older she sister. Really She'll good. kill me. She's but really yes, good. I feel very kind of, you know, you are brilliant, but it's one of them where I think, woo! Mixed you're emotions. too good. I've put things in your water. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I have to watch my back around here you too. Do. Well, obviously, you know, it must be a, a very unique experience taking part in something like this. Are you taking anything from it in as much as the, the training, the vocal training, that sort of thing? Well, you know, it's so disciplined, much more than pop. Um, Every day I'm thinking about this and I have to work on, really work on the breathing and the placement. But I'll tell you what, I have a guitar in my room that someone loaned me. And so uh, the other day I was playing one, you know, some of my more poppy songs and it, I really noticed a difference. My voice is a lot fuller, a lot richer, mm -hmm. and I have a lot more control. It's just, whew, it's fun. That's it's nice. how to breathe properly. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It's really good. Because you've, you've been performing for such a long time. I didn't realise that, you know, you'd perform with uh, Aretha Franklin, Bob Seger is one of my little favourites, oh. uh, Steve, Stevie Wonder and, of course, Eric Clapton. You, and not only that, but you, you write songs for other people. Is that something that you're continuing to do? Or? I'm always writing. That's what I love. I mean, I've been writing songs since, and poetry since I was a, a child. But songs, really, when I became like more about, like... 12 was when I first started writing my first song, which was not a great song, but um, I mean, I love, I just love to write. I'm very creative. If I don't, if I can't do that, I'd be locked up at a pad itself somewhere. <laughs> and you're working, I mean, never mind doing opera now, you're working on a jazz album at the moment, is that right? Well, no, it's not jazz. It's more kind of pop slash soul, you know, kind of funky. Okay. Mm, acoustic guitar driven, but some nice know, warm earthy things in it. Are you quite a competitive person? I am. Oh, yeah. Get me in a bowling alley. Look out. Ah. Yeah. Now, you've, like, you've hardly changed over the years, have you? Oh, thank you. Are you older or younger than me? <laughs> I'm a little bit older than you. Are you? Yeah. Well, no, See, don't depress her even more. How, how did you feel when you turned 50? Did you go mad? Uh, I feel myself going mad. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't think about it. I think the minute you... Did I you hate celebrate? the old word. The yeah, old. Yeah. Because I think the minute you think you're old, guess what? You're old. 
if you put it out there that you're old and you think there's nothing more than you're old. Mm. I just try to not pay attention to it. Have a party. It. Yeah, we had like, we had a bowling party, you know, because 50, being 50, relates to the 50s, bowling. It was really big back then. So we had a really fun bowling party and had a bunch of friends. Now, you're very stylish as well. Mm. So, um, how old were you when you suddenly decided you wanted to dictate to your parents what you're going to wear? Funnily enough, I'm a lot like you. My parents didn't have much, so it was all hand-me-downs. We had like a distant aunt who had some <laughs> yeah. money, so their children used to, you know, hand their clothes mm. down to me. So it wasn't really until um, I worked when I was about 13, I started, you know, doing babysitting, and then I became a waitress when I was 15, yeah. and then I was able to buy my own clothes, and then I was just obsessed yeah, That's with exactly it. what I did from the yeah. catalogue. You can pay weekly and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the two of you like, just yeah. sitting there. I know. Sorry. I know. Yeah. Very, very quickly, Marcella, because obviously, you know, you've been with your partner for, for a long old time. Have you got anything planned for Valentine's Day? No, well, he's there at, back in L.A., so... Oh, OK. Yeah, so maybe a phone know. call. Maybe he'll surprise me with a visit. Maybe. Maybe. Are you, are you a romantic person? Are you a romantic couple? He's very romantic. Yeah, I'm romantic. And, um, yeah, he's great. He still gets me flowers and... He always does very romantic things. Oh. Yeah. Do you know, it's been absolutely lovely to meet you. Block your ears, Thank Colleen. You. Good luck. Thank Hope you. Hope it all goes very well. Marcella <laughs> oh, Detroit, everyone. Marcella Detroit. Thank you. Thank you.